occasionally as well. But I'll tell you, the last month here in, in September have been so busy. There's been plenty to talk about in the Atlantic, and we're still looking at that opportunity with lots to talk about. And we'll start with Tropical Storm Philippe, and this is a system that's beginning to get stronger. But at the moment, it looks like the conditions are not going to allow continual growth and continual strengthening. You know, so often we we'll see the beginning of a tropical storm taking its development, and then we look for that rapid intensification, and it, it kind of pops up really quickly to a hurricane strength. At the moment, it doesn't look like uh, the environment's going to really be supportive of that, although things are continuing to have minor changes here and there every time we kind of get our computer models running a little bit. So I'm not locked in for sure on this long term forecast, but we're definitely continuing to monitor and see how this develops. Here is the latest, the 4 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, marking those winds at sustained at 50 miles an hour. They're going to continue to increase to just below hurricane strength. It looks like for the next five days or so. So you can see uh, it's looking a little bit like there's couple different areas that is really trying to get focused on. So it needs to get a little bit better organization before it can really start that strengthening movement right now is at about 12 miles an hour. So let's lay out this official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. And as I mentioned, you'll notice as we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so each of our tropical storm icons showing the next afternoon that we're looking at. The winds are actually expected to sort of maintain about where they are now and not make a whole lot of changes. By the time we get out to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, you see these minor increases. So by Wednesday, we're maybe up to 60 mile an hour winds and 65 and 70 uh, just below that hurricane strength. And at the moment, we still expect this system to curve and continue to move to the north and not necessarily make a direct land impact on the US. But as I mentioned, I'd still like some more time before we kind of lock that in for 100% for sure type of uh, forecast because we, we do think that there's some possibilities to see some changes as we're going through time. But right now, this is what the National Hurricane Center is putting out there. Tropical Storm Philippe is again what we're talking about. Now I'll go ahead and show you uh, one of those uh, computer models. Uh, this is our European model. And again, here is the official track uh, we're the current placement, I should say, of uh, Philippe. And then we'll show as we move through time here, we'll be showing the official forecast track uh, with this tropical storm icon. And you can see that's close to where we would expect the center here using this particular computer model. And again, remember, the National Hurricane Center has a group of scientists and forecasters who are working with all of the information that they can gather and making this forecast uh, for for these tropical cyclones like this. So it's not just based on one particular model or, or, or several runs of the same model or multiple models. There's lots of different bits of information that goes into this. And, you know, as the models have more time to run on what's happening out there and better data is collected, they get a little bit more accurate. So that's why, again, we, we see a little bit of a difference as we move through time, continuing to see uh, where we're headed. And I've shown you that track when we get to Thursday towards the end of the week, we're expecting a little bit of strengthening. You're still not seeing that complete wraparound circle strong low pressure at the surface, but it's showing enough here that it's something that we'll keep an eye on. And then as we move through time a little bit, there's the difference. So maybe this will stay a little flatter or a little bit further south as it's continuing to skirt to the west. And that would create a little bit more of a concern for everybody, of course, in the US. So we'll have to watch how this unfolds. But kind of right now, that's the current situation that we're looking at. So we talked about Tropical Storm Philippe that's in the Atlantic. That's currently the named storm that the Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on. There's a new area uh, of disturbed weather that's uh, into the Gulf of Mexico. As a matter of fact, the far southeastern corner of the Gulf of Mexico, right near the Yucatan Peninsula in Cuba. Uh, this is one of those systems or disturbances that's really going to have a bit of a, a window that it's going to have to work with. Uh, once we get past 
I'm going to just say roughly five days. Uh, basically, the window is sort of in that three to five day range. So once we get past five days and really over the next 24 hours, even 48 hours, it's not a high possibility. But there is this window where things look like it could develop and get a little bit better organized. And then once we get past those five days, the conditions are not very favorable. So they begin to to lessen the possibilities of development. And if something were to form, especially if it's weaker, it would have more difficulty kind of keeping itself together. So for us folks here in the Houston area, this is the time of year when we're really excited to see a few fronts coming down, partially because we want to see some cooler temperatures and for sure locally today because we want to see some more rain. But it's also when those fronts come down, it comes, it starts to kind of help deflect any sort of tropical activity that would try to be in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's what we're looking at right here with this new area of disturbed weather. Pretty low possibilities overall, but there is that window that sort of needs to be watched a little bit. Now, much more of a favorable area is a tropical wave that we've watched come off of the uh, African coast that's uh, positioned right about here where our orange X is. And the next few days, once it gets into our orange shaded area, that's where we think the tropical formation is more likely to take place, the tropical cyclone. So 60% chance, as a matter of fact, once we get uh, through day three, Three or in from day three to day seven, we'll look at a 20% chance before then. So again, this is basically that 20% chance right in here, not as favorable. And then once we get into that orange shading, much better conditions. And this is the same spot where Philippe sort of began to get itself organized uh, and some of the other systems that we've seen uh, as well. This is kind of the area that's been able to avoid some of those upper level winds and uh, high pressure that's upper to the to the north in the Atlantic. And so it's been a kind of a bit of a sweet spot actually where they can get that cycle uh, tropical cycle information. That's again uh, what we're expected to see, at least the possibility. So keep a track at home. Uh, we've got Ophelia that made that landfall on Saturday morning very early along the East Coast. Uh, and then we've got Philippe that's happening right now. Arena is going to be the next name on this list if you're keeping track of the names. Thanks for finding us here on YouTube today. We're here every day of hurricane season, a little bit after 4 p.m. Central Time. So at, when those afternoon updates come out from the National Hurricane Center, we'll get on here as quick as we can, kind of give you the latest of what's happening. As I mentioned, glad that you're checking in today. We'll expect to see you again for tomorrow and another update.